Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Deja Vu Elusive Target Arcade Contract. Only this time we'll be using optimized routes and equipment. Of course we're going to be all, all three levels silent assassin. We're just going to be using and utilizing all available equipment throughout Hitman 3, 1 and 2. So if you are looking for a default loadout version of this or if you're a brand new player, feel free to check out the drop down card on the screen right now or the link in the description or the link at the end of the credits for that particular video. But for this one, for level one, we have the Iconoclast. So we're gonna start in the tasting room, disguised as a waiter. We're gonna bring along at the Calma 2 Tranquilizer and bring along a lethal poison syringe. So from the very start, we're just gonna jump over this bar in front of us, head on upstairs. Our target, Joanne Bayswater, is just gonna be leaning over a ledge with her bodyguard. So she's going to be walking away. Meanwhile, we're going to take out our tranquilizer, trank her guard, trank that guy on the uh, on the bench. Then go ahead and syringe your target. That'll take the take her out for a poison kill. And it, that's just literally that easy, that, that quick, that simple. Uh, Diana still hasn't even finished her briefing on her, which is quite funny. She's already dead, Diana. Target eliminated. So what we've actually done there with the tranquilizer, because uh, tranquilizers is is quite a useful tool to have because they can their bodies can be found and they won't spoil your silent assassin rating. That's the cool thing about the tranquilizers, and the same thing with the, the lethal poison as well. We lethal poison the, the target, even though these bodies are being found, it's not affecting your silent assassin score. So we're essentially retaining it. So we're still keeping our silent assassin rating. So very good way of actually completing this lucid target contract so nearly no time at all we've completed the level one silent assassin rating really quick really easy so for level two we have the collector so we are going to complete the optional objective of retrieving the painting and the starting lo starting loadout I've gone with is the starting of the garden. Bring along a Seeker 1 tranquilizer, which is an emetic tranquilizer. Uh, bring along a lethal poison syringe and a coin from the very start. Just follow where I'm going. There's a lot of added enforcers for uh, these these levels of the contract as well, by the way. Just keep that in mind. This garden disguise is, is not good at all. And is equipped with a fake court order. But we're just going to run straight over to where this bush is. Stay crouched in the bush. The take out our seeker one. Shoot our target it. once. Give it a couple of seconds. And then shoot that his bodyguard. We need to do it like that. Otherwise if we do the guard too early. He will go over towards the river. Which we don't want him to do. We want the target to go over towards the river. There's two enforcers here. So we're just going to wait for them to stop reacting to the target. And once he's turned around, we can go ahead and surrender the target. Just be wary of the guard to your right and the guard to your left. He drops a hobby knife on the floor. Go ahead and grab that. Now, we just need to run to the mansion. Just run there, but just make sure that you are avoiding all the enforcers that are around the area. They do move about, so just keep that in mind. Now, it says body found there, but because it was a poison kill, it's not going to ruin your sight assassin score. I'm just going to grab that baseball here as well for a knockout tool. Now, if you don't have a shortcut unlocked right here, this ladder, if this ladder isn't down for you like this is for me, then I'm going to show you a different route up there. So if that ladder isn't down for you, come and follow where I'm going. But if it is down, go ahead and climb that ladder. For the people that don't have that ladder down, follow this uh, pipe, climb up the pipe right here. Climb on along this ledge. Then jump up on this ledge. Enter the room on your right. And you'll be at where the top of the ladder is. So just the right here is going to be where the ladder is. We're going to knock out this guard right here. Take his disguise. His bodyguard disguise is fairly decent. Still plenty of enforcers for this one. But once we've got this disguise on. We're going to run all the way around here. Run past these guards. Come down the corridor to your right. Just be careful of that forcer there on the corridor. Hop out the window. Climb along the ledge and climb up the pipe. Now you'll be maybe wondering. Freeze. Why didn't you just jump the wall? And climb along the ledge you can do it if you want to it's entirely up to you i just wanted to show you maybe that was a little bit faster way of doing it. i don't know 
But yeah, once we climb up this ledge here, we're going to climb this pipe, climb up to the top. The reason for doing this because there's two enforcers downstairs, so we want to avoid them altogether, and then come down here, and then take the painting. And then, Good. this is a matter of just retracing our steps from this point. Going back up the stairs, jumping back over this ledge, sliding back down the pipe. Climbing over this wall, again sliding down the pipe again. Passing the window. Alternatively you can climb through it like I'm doing. If you get to the other side, you can climb down that ladder if you have that shortcut unlocked. Otherwise, you'd have to come out here again and slide down this pipe right here and head to the exit. If you want to have that shortcut unlocked, you're going to need a crowbar to crack that open. So you're going to need to find a crowbar in the main mission, crack that open, and it'll always be open for you in the future. So once we've taken this exit here, you've got an easy silent assassin rating for level 2. For level 3, we have the Heartbreaker. Again, additional people see through one or more of your disguises. So we're going to start at the winery viewpoint. We're going to bring along a Calma 2 tranquilizer, a lethal poison syringe, and a remote emetic gas device. From the start, we're going to run over to this guard over here. You don't have to use the Calma, you could just, you could just knock him out, to be honest. But the only reason I'm using the Trank is just to cut down on the likelihood of his body being found. So even if he does get found, it's not going to spoil Silent Assassin Ritten. But you can just subdue him. I don't think his body gets found anyway. But Hey ho, we have equipment. We may as well use it. But once we've taken him out, we're going to take his disguise. I'm going to head to where uh, our target actually is straight away. So... There's plenty of enforcers around, so it's got to avoid their line of sight. It does take a while for them to fully spot you, so I wouldn't worry too much about them. We don't need an invitation to the party because we can get through with his disguise on. The target is going to be an enforcer to this disguise, though. Just keep that in mind. So what we're going to do here, here he is. You can tell by the enforcer dot above his head. He will turn a turn around uh, once he reaches this dance floor. Once he does, we're just going to place this right behind him, set off the gas device, and he's going to get a little bit sick. So I'm just going to place it right there on the floor, and use that with the shoulder buttons on the controller. Now we're just going to follow him into the bathroom with a syringe. You can drown him if you like. Uh, it's nothing. You don't really have to huh? use a syringe if you don't really want to. Oh, but I'd recommend it. It's just a little bit faster. I say a drowning counts as an accident kill. So even if his body is found, same with the syringe as well. Even if the body is found, it's not going to spoil the silent assassin. Now these two women, they wait outside, so don't get uh, don't get worried about they're going to follow in. They don't follow him. They're just going to wait outside. I'm going to close the door behind me before they do this as well. Because you never know. Mirrors and stuff. There we go. So. All we've got to do now. Head to one of the very, very few exits in the mission. Um, now, as far as I know, there's like... Isn't there like three exits? But two of them are locked. Which require keys. Which is the boat exit and the car. It's silly. I mean, I know there's a shrine exit if you have the Requiem suit, but they really should add another con more convenient exit for Mendoza. I really do feel that's a very good quality of life update if they ever did that. I don't know where you can potentially use an exit. Maybe just make, just opposite the altar, there's like, a, I think there's a, like a gate or a boat or something. Maybe put a boat exit there or something. I don't know. Just make a location closer because this, this winery exit point is just it's a pain to get to you know 
No variants. I mean, there's that, uh, what's that there's wetsuit exit as well. But again, it requires you a certain outfit. And there's two guards literally looking straight out of the water. Again, it's just I wish there was more exits for Mendo's. I could help the map a lot more. But there we go. End of rant. That's how you do a Sonic Assassin for level 3. And that will, con that will conclude the Deja Vu Elusive Tiger RK contract with optimized routes and equipment. So hopefully that's helped you out. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If it did help you out, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Drop a like on the video. And uh, hit the bell notification to be notified of all the future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. I really do appreciate all the support recently. Thank you very much. If you're looking for a default loadout version of these videos, check out the link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.